this week I'm doing an unboxing of a GKU dash cam. Okay, let's unbox this. This is how the dash cam arrived from Prime. It's like Christmas. Okay. And inside, ah, oh, that's a nice, that's a really nice quality box. Wow. As I said, this is retailing for around 90 bucks. But at the moment I noticed there was Black Friday deals for around 60. That's Australian dollars. That's, ah, they make these things childproof. Okie dokie. Yep, nice quality box. Just a slide out number. I'll push that out. And I'm left with this white generic box. Open that up. Yeah, nice quality. Let's have a look at the unit itself. It comes in this little, whoops, plastic bag. And out of the plastic bag, I've got to say that looks like pretty good quality to me. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's very lightweight, very, very lightweight. So you peel off the tabs, make sure you do that. Okay, and there's even one here on the lens, so let's take that off as well. Gosh, have a look at that. That looks really smart. Now I would use this on the way home, but unfortunately I've not brought in my um, I've not bought in my SD card and there doesn't appear to be one with it. But anyway, let's have a look at what else is in the box. Okay, some packing. And we have a whole bunch of stuff, tool of some kind. A warranty card in the shape of a car and a user guide. So let's put all that back in there because I don't think we're going to need any of that. In addition, in addition to the camera, you have a suction cup to suction it to the front window. And these, and these are your leads. Now I want to show you this one in particular. Because this one has, let me open this, ah, a little tiny rear camera. I don't know if you can see how big that is, but in relation to the other camera, it's absolutely tiny. Now, obviously, it's not practical for me to stick that to the back window, but I could certainly do that if I wanted to. It's got a little mount here, some screws, and you also get... a very long lead with a mini USB. I think this is a smashing unit and you know, for the price, that's extraordinary. So if this picture turns out to be any good, it's going to be pretty hard to beat. So to run through again, what's in the box? A tool of some kind. The very, very sexy looking GKU unit, a suction cup, a rear camera and very long cord, and the 12 volt adapter, which in this Tesla is inside the center console. The first thing to note is that the detail on the front camera is much better than the detail on the back. It's only 720 uh, P at the back and also the 
difference from going to light to day was much better with the front camera. Also, we found that tool we mentioned earlier was to tuck the cord under the weather strip inside the door so that you can properly install the car. Now you can see here the difference between reading the rego plate in the front and back camera is huge. And if you're wondering why the picture is flipped on the rear camera, it's because for some reason when I stuck them both on the front windscreen, the rear camera was reversed. You can get quite a lot of detail from this and it's going to be handy to send this to the insurance companies should you ever need to. All in all, we thought the cameras were pretty good, installation fairly simple and the fact that you can use the rear camera as a reversing camera if it's hooked up to your reversing light, obviously that would need to be done professionally, was pretty good. The camera records in one minute intervals that can be changed and if you have an accident detected by the G-Sensor or by using the manual button, you can actually protect that recording uh, so that it won't be overwritten. Very, very important for accidents. As always, hit like, leave a comment and just over there to subscribe.